another one of my mentors told me that don't follow your passion. Uh, and that's always stuck with me. I'm like, what do you mean? Uh, and he said, well, find something you're good at. And at business school, what I notice is that every speaker always says, follow your passion. That's how they end their talk. What's your one piece of advice for young people? Follow your passion. What b****? <laughs> Things that are passion, luxury, um, food, entertainment, sports, those are massively overinvested. And a very small fraction, less than 1% of the people who find those things, are passionate about those things, are able to make a living at them. And God bless them, and there's a lot of very well-publicized wins around people who followed their passion and became fabulously wealthy. But what's so unusual about this is what I find is the people who always are telling you to follow your passion are already rich. And they typically... And they typically got rich following their passion of software as a service for healthcare scheduling. And it's like, oh, that was your passion? Let me tell you what their passion was. Anytime someone tells you to follow their passion, it means their passion was getting rich so they could buy a fat car and marry someone much better looking than them. That is their passion. What I would say is find something in your work that gives you joy and disproportionately allocate the amount of time you can based on your credibility in the organization to that part of your job that just gives you joy. I think that's about a, as good as you can do and then find something you're good at such that you can develop the economic currency to live a nice lifestyle and spend more and more time as you get older following your true passion. Mm -hmm.